Hey there everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Strix Outdoors. In this video, I'm going to be sharing a simple recipe for sandhill crane thighs. I think you're going to like it, so be sure to stay tuned. Alright, so I'm curious how many people actually keep sandhill crane thighs. Let me know in the comments below if you're one of them or if you've never tried them. But I certainly think they are worth keeping, and this is a pretty simple way to cook them. Alright, so let's jump right into the preparation for this. But before we do, be sure to bullseye that like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more wild game cooking videos and hunting adventures in the future. Okay, so this is gonna be a simple recipe. We're gonna do some preparation on the thighs. We're gonna brown them first and then put them into the crock pot with some cream of mushroom and cream of poblano and just let them cook. The idea here is to slow cook them because the meat can be quite tough and there's a lot of tendons in here. So really we wanna to try to get this to a consistency where we can basically just shred it apart. Uh, I've grilled this before, I've also smoked it and it had a wonderful taste, but it did get a bit dry and it was a bit tough. So this method will result in a lot more tender and juicy meat. Alright, so here we have one of our thighs. Preparation, I'm just going to trim off anything that doesn't look good if you've got a bunch of bruising, and I'm going to trim off this fat. All right, so I think I'm gonna stop here. You could come in here and remove the silver skin, but I don't really think that's gonna be necessary for this. All right, before browning them, I'm gonna give them just a little bit of salt. This is sea salt, but you guys know that I love using kosher salt as well. Just uh, changing it up just a bit. All right, so here we have our cast iron skillet. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of butter. And then we're just going to give uh, these a nice, good little browning. Okay, well we've got the thighs browned. And now we're, they're just going to go into the crock pot. We're going to be using two different sauces to go in with them. Uh, one is a cream of poblano and one is a cream of mushroom. And I'll do a taste test at the end to compare and give you an idea of what you might be able to expect. So since we're going to be doing a taste comparison, I've got two crock pots set up. This one's probably going to be a little small for the thigh, but, uh, but we'll give it a go anyway. Uh, worst case, I'll just have to cut it in half and then uh, stuff it in there. All right, so here goes cream of mushroom. And I'm gonna use two cans and then fill up the rest with, uh, with water. Okay, there we got cream of mushroom and I've got the crock pot on high for now. Once it comes up to a simmer, I'll go ahead and turn it down to low. All right, here goes cream of poblano. Alright, so there we go. I'm just going to cover them up and let them roll. Alright everyone, so it's been about nine hours since I put the thighs in the crock pot. They've been simmering the whole time and I think they're pretty much ready to go. Now, I hope I'm going to make my Cajun buddies proud here by saying this, but in the meantime and before we get started, so like any good Cajun recipe, first you start with the pot of rice and the Instant Pot is great at making that. And then of course, with the thighs, we'll have plenty of that great, great gravy to put all over it. Okay, so let's go back here, pull the thighs out of the crock pot, we're going to shred it up, and then we'll end up serving it over a bed of rice and see how it tastes. The thighs are just cooked in the cream of mushroom, and that sauce looks awesome. And of course, the one that was cooked in the cream of poblano, that looks really good too. Remember, I cut this one in half just to get it to fit in this crock pot. These are still piping hot, but we're just going to try to shred these apart with a fork. Mm -hmm. 
That's really tender. Now I guess uh, if you want to do this overnight, it'd probably be a little bit better. I think I could have made this a little bit softer, more fall off the bone, although it is quite tender already <clears throat> after nine hours. So you know, giving it a little bit longer would have definitely softened it up a little bit more, I think. But still looks really good. We do want to be careful about some of these little tendons that are in there. You will not want to be eating those. Okay, well the thigh that cooked in the cream of mushroom is definitely more tender, um, but I think that has everything to do with the different crock pots, and this one is just, uh, was cooking just a little bit hotter than, than the smaller one. Uh, but otherwise, this seems pretty tender, but this was more tender, so I think this one just needed a little bit more time. It should be fine. Pour some of this cream of mushroom gravy all over this. This looks really good. All right, now for the main event. It looks really good. Let's give it a try. It's really, really good. It's really tender. The cream of mushroom uh, soup is creamy. Um, it's got a little bit of a mushroom taste, but not overpowering. It's really pleasant. The meat is very, very mild. Um, it's really good. It has a really good flavor. Not gamey at all. Maybe comparable to pork um, in terms of the texture and, and the taste a little bit, but uh, man, really, really good. This is so simple and it's so good. So I'm going to take a chapter from Emerald's book and uh, kick it up a notch, uh, this time with some Tony Chatteries. spot on. Really, really good. All right, uh, now I'm going to try the cream of poblano and see what that tastes like. Also really good. Very tender, very mild flavor. Um, the poblano flavor is very, very mild. I'd like for it to be a little bit stronger actually. Um, it seems like it's more water-based than cream-based. So it's not as creamy. They're both really, really good. Um, to be honest, I think I prefer the cream of mushroom, but you can't go wrong with either one. Really, really good. Excellent. <clears throat> well, there you guys have it. Uh, really simple recipe. Definitely makes good use of the Sandhill Crane thighs. You should definitely be keeping them if you're not. Well, everyone, that's all I have for you in this video. Thanks again for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next video.